Hi everybody, my name is David Farrell and as many of you will know here on this YouTube channel uh, I suffered a pretty serious accident back on February the 29th which I think is somewhat ironic, a day that doesn't technically is, uh, exist um, but more on that later so today I just wanted to give a short update uh, with a little bit of video footage uh, on the path to recovery uh, from this injury and for those of you who don't know about the story, I fell basically here uh, from one terrace in the garden about 12 feet down to another terrace uh, back on February the 29th when I was watering my beloved plants and I unfortunately fell vertically about 12 feet into an empty fish pond. Uh, I therefore suffered quite a, a serious but also quite an unusual injury in that I completely exploded, fractured uh, both of my heels into quite a few pieces. Uh, but uh, miraculously, uh, didn't, I didn't die. That was also a, a small miracle in itself. But I didn't land on my head, at least I don't think so. Uh, I didn't break any knees, didn't break my ankles, no damage to my spine or my neck. So incredibly lucky, to be honest. I feel very, very lucky to still be here. Um, I then was lucky enough to have a lot of support in the immediacy of the accident, more of which I'm going to be sharing later. This is really just an intro video to give an update about uh, where I am today and um, how my progress has been developing using a variety of techniques. But um, essentially, I had to have surgery in Guadalajara about uh, 10 days after the accident uh, with an amazing surgeon, a guy called Santiago, who I hope to be able to interview at some point, a very, very quantum surgeon. And again, I'll be talking more about that in future videos, both here on the YouTube channel on quantumplanet.world and also in a brand new 13-day expedition coming up called The Path of the Jaguar. Um, the surgery went well, although it was long, about five and a half hours. Um, and I then basically had to spend a couple of weeks in Guadalajara, uh, which was, was challenging, uh, in an apartment, uh, unable to move, very challenging circumstances. Myself and Bella then uh, came back to here, to El Molino, to our home in Mexico. And I've been here ever since. Um, actually, in the room just next door to me here, I basically spent the last two and a half months on a couple of mattresses, uh, resting, healing, and meditating a lot. And the original prog uh, pr prognosis uh, from my surgeon, Santiago, was that it would be six to eight months before I'd be able to walk again. Uh, personally speaking, at the time of the accident, I found myself in a very kind of how to say, almost polarised uh, sets of schools of thought. On the one hand was the profound sense that I might not ever walk again, um, which was something that I definitely was not looking forward to. Uh, and then on the other hand, I was given the opportunity to show that my healing could happen in a different way. And I have to thank uh, Dr. Santiago for really being the originator of some of this thinking. But he said to me, in his, his limited but good English, um, you really need to heal from the mind here, David. He understood my nature, my uh, innate ability to heal, plus, of course, I am a healer myself. So he understood all of that uh, quite intuitively, and he encouraged me to stay very, very positive and to only accept one outcome, which was full rehabilitation. He felt confident in his work. Uh, the left ankle particularly, or the left heel, was particularly badly damaged, but also one of the tendons had flipped upside down and he was concerned that this then might lead to a splaying or a turning out of my left foot. Uh, there was a lot more to share about the left foot um, in future videos, very interesting part of my healing journey came to emerge literally in the hospital the day after the operation but like I say more on that later. So I really want to take this opportunity to everybody watching this video to say a huge, huge heartfelt uh, thank you to each and every one of you who contributed with messages of support, who contributed with financial donations, who contributed with healing, uh, particularly those members of uh, our QPH tribe uh, who gathered together and really rallied and did some incredibly strong healing circles. I felt them really strongly in the space in Guadalajara and we were able to utilize those moments for progressive moves forwards. Um, so a huge thank you to everybody who, who has assisted me to get to this place. I also have a huge amount of gratitude for the locals here. Uh, quite a, a strong group of people have rallied around me and have enabled me to, to go through this process in comfort 
uh, without stress and to feel supported, uh, which has really been amazing. Uh, so I really have a lot of love here for the people in the town of Ironga, here in Michoacan in Mexico, where I live, and for all of the local people that have assisted uh, me through this very challenging period. Essentially, I've been immobilized for <clears throat> over, well, nearly two and a half months. And I'm going to show some footage in a minute of when I stood up again for the first time on June the 5th. I selected the Venus Kazemi uh, because of its potent energy. And that's also a large part of what I want to share moving forwards is how I've managed to get from where I was on the 29th of February to today at the beginning of July and have shortened the healing process almost in half. Uh, I still have quite a long way to go. But as you will see shortly, I am able to get up now and walk around with the use of crutches. Um, that wasn't something I could do really a couple of weeks ago, not even really a week ago. So I also want to give uh, some thanks to a wonderful lady, a physiotherapist, a local kind of curandero, you could say, really, who's, who's come in now into my space and is assisting me with the physiotherapy. Since I engaged with the wonderful Rosa a couple of weeks ago, uh, there's been... A rapid acceleration in what I'm able to do uh, you know if you can think for two and a half months I wasn't able to go to the toilet properly I had to use uh, a facility here in the room I had to go uh, well I wasn't able to go rather to the shower uh, for a couple of months so I had to sit in a bucket and wash myself all very challenging things and at the same time really having to protect the feet strongly uh, any kind of major knock or damage or even attempt to stand up at the wrong moment could have had some very very severe repercussions and I've been super mindful of that. I am blessed enough to be somebody who heals incredibly quickly. I, I always have been. Um, but at the same time, I do employ a number of techniques that assist in that process. And one of the major ones I want to share with you today is the power of the mind in conjunction with the power of the quantum technology in our body. I also was blessed enough to work with one of our sisters, uh, Catherine Evans, an amazing homeopathist from our tribe, uh, who really, really selected the right remedies at the homeopathic level. Uh, for my feet to heal, for the heels to come back together. And uh, more to share on that, that's also been quite the experience, uh, being super attenuated to my physical body and the conditions it was going through. My feet very, very early on in the process spoke to me, <laughs> you can say, and, uh, and my guides too. It was really a collective effort. I've had a lot of support, a lot of non-physical support, not just from my uh, numerous plant allies, but also from the angelic realms, from my cosmic codes, my cosmic star families and uh, not least of all a very um, strong group of non-physical surgeons and holistic healing advisors from other realms and other dimensions all of which may sound a little strange but for me was very present and has allowed me to feel um, protected to feel secure in the process but most of all it allowed me to stay in a place of trust that is one of the key things that i have taken away from the last three and a half months really or coming up to four months now almost is the ability to trust the situation, to trust uh, what has happened to me and why there is a lot that happened prior to the accident that I am going to share in more detail because it forms part of a complete healing karmic and dharmic story, you can say. And for sure, I'm not the same person I was uh, the day before the accident or even the day of the accident. I, I feel like I've died quite a few deaths uh, since then, a lot of ego death, uh, a lot of humility has come in and not least of all an incredible amount of gratitude for each and every moment of every day. I also really want to say a huge level of thanks to my beloved and beautiful partner Bella who has assisted me in so many different ways, not least of all during the time of the accident but also then with her incredible teachings from the Mayan time of magic lineage which is really what I've been working with uh, on a daily basis to keep me focused. Uh, there was a period for a few weeks where without my wonderful carer, Jessie, who's been uh, feeding me and uh, somewhat taking care of me, you can say, in the mornings here, there was a, point, a period where if I, if I hadn't seen her uh, during the day, I would have really started to perhaps lose my grip on reality because I didn't see anybody else much for a few weeks. I was here on my own, which generally I'm fine with. It's a beautiful space, but I was kind of stuck inside and so I really had to use uh, or utilize rather a number of mechanisms and tools to to uh, assist me in dealing with my immobility for someone like me and if any of you know me personally will know I'm quite an active person and being uh, forced to sit still for more than five minutes has not always been easy uh, for me 
Uh, but this really, really was something I needed. I needed rest. I needed to slow down. Uh, it's not any way that I would ever have chosen for myself. But I trusted that as things unfolded and the story progressed, that actually this was really a blessing for me. And that's really what I'm going to be sharing in the coming weeks, is how even a challenging situation, like an accident like this, something uh, that potentially was life-threatening in the moment, but also life-changing uh, potentially as well, can actually be turned into something of a blessing and an opportunity for deep realizations, uh, deep meditation, contemplation, reflection. Um, <clears throat> many things have happened to me over the last 13 years on my healing journey. And uh, it had been so much uh, that I almost hadn't really had time to process some of it over the, the time um, since. And I was able to utilize this time here and of course, we've been going through some incredibly profound changes in our world, which we do talk about on our Quantum Compass show and also a lot in our groups over on QPW. And, you know, tracking many collective processes. That's also part of my experience here is I've been able to go surfing, we can say, into realms of consciousness, particularly with the collective story of the ascension process. And because I was so still and so open, uh, also very energetically clean, after the process of the surgery, I did a big detox to reduce the chemicals in the system, but also um, I was able to kind of cleanse the system energetically. So I was in a very, very kind of light space, you can say, which enabled me to communicate with many other realms and dimensions and to be able to receive information, all of which uh, will uh, be shared in due course uh, as and when it's appropriate. And some of it has already been shared. but. Uh, over the course of the next few weeks in preparation for the path of the Jaguar, the magic of now, this is my next objective, everybody. Um, myself and Bella have been guided to, to finish some big um, grid uh, work, we can say energy work, which we started around this time last year in the sites and pyramids of central Mexico, particularly in a kind of circular route around um, CDMX or Mexico City that takes in Teotihuacan and a number of other sites uh, like Tula. And so we did share some of that originally through the quest of the quantum heart last year, but we always understood that there was still some more work to do. And so it's come to us that we need to go back to Teotihuacan for the day out of time, which is where we were this time last year. So that uh, prospect of walking around Teotihuacan when I'm currently on crutches is kind of daunting. But at the same time, I'm a person that thrives under pressure and likes goals and objectives, they work for me. And so in the place of trust, I'm like, well, my higher self has brought this through along with the guides uh, to myself and Bella. And I'm setting this as an objective and I'm inviting all of you to join me somehow, uh, either through the videos I'm going to put on YouTube. This is David's return to mobility. Uh, it's kind of like a big part of my rebirth process, really everybody. And I'm inviting you to, to participate in it. Many of you have contributed to it, so I feel like I want to share uh, in, in the success of, of this process. Um, I do feel very lucky to have been through it, really, um, painful as it's been at times. But uh, yeah, so we will be going to Teotihuacan on the day out of time, and that will be part of a 13-day online and on the ground ex, uh, expedition. For those of you that want to join us, this is going to be a journey to reclaim time, to also uh, connect some parts of the grid that still need uh, work on them, and to start calling in the energies of new earth. So everybody, uh, with all of that in mind, I now uh, want to show you uh, how much progress I have actually made. So I'm going to use these crutches here, um, donated by my friends here in the Rongarikoro, and uh, the wheelchair that I've been using. And I'm now going to try and stand up and walk a little bit so you can see uh, from one month ago how much progress has, there has been made. So let's see how I do. So in this moment, the main thing I'm experiencing is a lot of stiffness where the muscles, particularly the tendons, have really gone to sleep, which is what my physio Rosa is helping me with, really uh, giving me some quite strong, um, I have to say, exercises and massages, but really encouraging me to stand up straight and walk very consciously one small step 
at a time. And honestly, uh, even two weeks ago to be able to do this was something I couldn't imagine. And the good thing is that I have more confidence now in the heels themselves. They feel very strong. They came back together. Uh, and now really this is about repairing the muscles, the tendons, and getting my strength back online. Because as you can imagine, many of the muscles, particularly in the calves, uh, wasted very quickly without any activity, and in the feet also. So slowly but surely, uh, I'm on my way back. So see you all again soon.